Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today's uh, video is talking about um, seeds versus cloning. And so I've been talking to some of the farms um, in the industry and they tell me some of the things they're going through and the help they need. And I've been talking to some of the brands and I feel like this is the perfect time to just inform you what's going on. So let's look at um, when it comes to growing. Um, by the way, this video is um, sponsored by How to Grow um, CBD Indoors. It's available on our website and on Amazon. It's, um, it's a small book. It's only 30 something pages, actually 20, 29 pages. And it just gives you the basic um, help when it comes to growing. So if you want to learn how to grow, you know, the first grow, how to water properly, it's all in here. It tells you how to feed it with nutrients and check the pH levels. It's a wonderful book. It's $12.99 available on our website or just Google it on, um, on Amazon. So when it comes to growing, back in the, the days, we all grew from seeds. And so I've, I've experimented. And so when it comes to seeds, one of the problems you have is you do not know if you're going to get a male or female. So for those of you who do not know, um, a male plant, when it's mixed with a female plant, creates seeds. It turns the female um, into producing seeds so you can make more seeds. And so a male plant can destroy a full crop because all of the, um, ah, I can't think of the word, the, you know, when a, from plant, when a, when a, like a bird take, uh, from plant to plant and, yeah, man, Bevan, I look it up, pollinate, right. Okay, so the male plant will pollinate the female plant and it will just ruin your crap because then all you're gonna have is seeds. So imagine you spent all your money growing um, hemp and now all you have is male plants, just, maybe just one male plant, it just pollinate the whole field, number of seeds. And so think about it from a farmer's perspective, right? Farmer buy 10,000 seeds from um, X, Y, and Z source, maybe in Oregon or somewhere or Kentucky. And have those seeds, or maybe even just 10% of those seeds are actually get, is feminized, they are female. Um, and so you spend that money to only get 10% of whatever you purchase. And that, that hurts. Now, what ended up happening now too, is that at 10%, you may only get uh, 5% that actually has the correct amount of um, cannabinoids in there. So for example, in Oregon, there's a lot of farmers who buy seeds from individuals over the country, stating that these seeds are actually um, hemp, so that the, the, the TAC, Delta 9 TAC levels are less than 0.3. Um, what's happening is, in most cases, it's, it's actually uh, marijuana um, seeds. So the THC level could be even up to 1% or higher. And now the farmer who's invested all his money and time into growing his crops, he's out of luck. Um, he just lost everything. And this is what's happening right now. There's a lot of farmers who are just going through this. They're spending the money buying seeds. So what I've learned is talking to some of the, um, the farms that they're using cutlin. So the way cutlin, for those of you who don't know, um, when, you, when you grow, you may have a, a mother plant, right? She's just a perfect plant. She gives you 0.2% Delta 9 TAC. She may give you 10 to 12% um, CBD in here. And so you, you cut a piece off, cut a piece off of the plant and you get the little tubes, which is also in the book, teaches it in the book. Um, and you put the, uh, the nutrients at the bottom of it to um, help it from drying out. Put it in your little, um, it's a little, little, little tube. I can't think of the name of it, but you put it in there and that's what you use to grow um, new plants. Um, she's just a mother. Um, some people, they, they turn the mother and you know, have her um, start blooming and then they add more light to her to bring her back into a vegetative state so she does not bloom. And I call it the blooming stage when you have the flowers on there. So you bring it back um, so, she, so she cannot bloom. So she's just in vegetative state all the time. The problem with that is 
she always has to be on the light 24 7 so that um she can grow because when you're growing plants um especially outdoors you need some people use 12 12 so 12 light 12 dark some of us use um 18 hours um in the light uh six in the dark it just depends on your preference um but for indoor for cloning it's, it's all done indoors the lights is always on um and uh it helps you to grow the plant because you know the, the, the we all love light the nutrition it's like with cbd in the um, daytime you get all the energy um you, you spend all the energy at nighttime is when the body does the healing so the plants you know starts yeah it's just that's just nature but some of the the farms they use the cutlings you know are clones because it guarantees that they're going to get what they want so no matter what the mother is she's going to give you all the um i think 98 percent of the time is going to be exactly like the mother and this is what some of the farms do and even right now this they're growing um the, 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 the cutlings so that when they're ready to plant it's already ready they don't have to worry about planting seeds out in the dirt and then um takes even longer so this is what's going on um i just want to say that as a farm if you are if you choosing to grow at all you got to be very careful who you buy from um seeds are never guaranteed even crop insurance may not cover seeds um this is something that I hope the USD regulations um, is able to properly help the farms to be able to survive and not just waste their money when it comes to 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 um, to the season. So I hope you have an understanding. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. But yeah, this is this is what's happening. I've been talking to a lot of um, um, companies who are getting seeds from from just the people they don't know. Sometimes even good name, big name brand um, seed companies and it's just, it's, it's a 50-50. You may get something good, you may not. The, the last thing, you know, I could just imagine spending millions of dollars on your grow and you never get what you, you thought, thought you was gonna get. So I don't know like how we can help improve the community, but if you have any idea, like anything that I can do, to make sure that this is more informed in the community. Um, hopefully regulation will take care of a lot of these issues. Um, insurance will um, step up and um, properly insure um, the farmers and have some kind of failback system for when this happens. So love you all, appreciate you. Um, get the book, it's $12.99 over on Amazon. I wanna say thank you to um, JP Surf for um, helping us with this book. Um, it's so wonderful. Yeah, it's, uh, I am just grateful for everything. Appreciate you all so much. Have a beautiful day. One love. There are those that said your pain isn't real. Too slow. Too hard. Too soft. Too old. Too limited. To them, we say too bad. Everyone deserves good and clean CBD products.